Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. That's Emory Hunt, the Zorro to Playbook. And I'm Tyler Mercury, bringing you week four coverage of the NFL season. Dallas at Denver. Dallas struggling in the red zone. They're settling for too many field goals, and they're missing the presence of Terrell Owens. They really need to step up the play calling. They really need to execute in the red zone, score touchdowns instead of field goals. I think that might be a problem in this game. Denver, a surprising 3-0 with McDaniels. What do the Cowboys have to do to knock off the undefeated Bronx? Keys to victory for Dallas, number one. I say this every week, and at one point in time, somebody's going to listen to me. Make Felix Jones the starting running back and give him the ball as if he were your starting running back. The guy can make plays across the field. He is a special player. Get Felix Jones involved early and often. Uh, two. They're going to have to pressure Kyle Orton. Um, you can't let him get in the rhythm. Kyle Orton wants to get rid of that ball real quick. He wants to hit those short to intermediate passes, so get pressure on him right away. And third, you got to play the run on the way to the quarterback because Denver has two good running backs in Bob Holter and the rookie, uh, Doshawn Moreno from Georgia. Uh, they did a really good job last week running the ball against Oakland, so you want to play uh, the run on the way to the quarterback. But don't give up on... Uh, and on off the Dallas offensively, you want to look at Romo's going to have to make some plays in the passing game. It's going to be tough because they have a really talented secondary. In That's the matchup I love. Champ Bailey and Alfonso Smith are going to give fits to Roy Williams and Witten. I mean, Roy Williams and Patrick Creighton. And then, you know, Witten, he's going to get guarded. by Darcel McBath is playing well. They got Brian Dawkins, those two safeties. Andre Goodman is a good corner. Uh -huh. He's a nickel corner, so he's going to match up with Miles Awesome. we got good matchups all over the field. I'm feeling Denver here. I think Kyle Lauren, Brandon Marsh is going to have a coming out party. I think Eddie Royal, get him involved, Tony Scheffler. The offense is pretty good. You know, they always have a good offensive line. How do the Broncos stay undefeated? Keys to for Denver, number one, I love what Denver has to what they have going on with balance. That is the key word in playing offensive football. You don't want to be too top heavy or too bottom heavy. I like what they do. They nice flat line as far as offensively. They can run the ball. They can throw the ball when, when need to just to keep the chains moving. I like that about Denver. Two, they're going to have to pressure Tony Romo because the thing about it, Dallas, uh, Denver can play reckless on defense because if Romo makes an Aaron throw, they have ball hawks back there in the secondary. Bailey can catch interceptions. The rookie Alfonso Smith had 21 career interceptions. You look at Ms. Bath from Texas Tech, interceptions. Brian Dawkins can can lay the, lay the lumber down. He's gonna he's gonna he's be all not done yet, my right. friend. Goodman can catch interceptions. So they have a lot of ball hawks in the secondary. So they're gonna come after uh, Romo a lot, with, especially with Dumerville coming off that mm -hmm. end. DJ Williams is a dynamite linebacker. You know, so they have to play reckless on defense. That's their second key to victory. Third, they're going to have to win the special teams game. Field position, keep Dallas, make Dallas drive that long field. I like Denver in this game. You like Denver, huh? Switching your pick up. I like, you know, make them one dimensional. Make Dallas one dimensional. Stack up. Make Romo throw it against those cornerbacks. That's the matchup I like. I like Denver also. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL.